Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most kind, the most merciful. Hello and thank you again for watching Out of Focus with me, Zain Sadi Rashid. And Out of Focus is a program aimed for <coughs> young teenage girls and um, mainly the, gener um, the younger generation of today's society. It's a program where we discuss topics about um, teenage behaviour and what we are doing generally, the teenagers today, and how we are viewed negatively or, po negatively or positively, and just mainly controversial topics which are important to be discussed. So, as you all know, you know Sabiha, who came to my last um, show. Thank you so much for being here. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. And today we have another brand new guest called... Masha. Masha, oh, that's a wonderful name. Thank you. Oh, mashallah. Oh, how old are you? I'm 13, but I'm going to turn 14 on June the 3rd. Oh, is it? Your birthday's coming up? Yeah. Ah. Oh. So, what school do you go? Chadwell Heath Academy. Oh. So, um, what are your favourite subjects? Um, well, I like maths and I also like the humanities Oh, subjects. this one doesn't like maths for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you like maths then? Yeah. Good at you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do you like? Um, I guess ICT because I need a, like, a lot of It's very complicated. Yeah. yeah. Do you like it? Oh. Thank you so much for meeting you, Maisha. It's nice to meet you too. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. So, today's topic is ambition and challenge. So, what are your views about ambition and challenges, or what are your ambitions? Well, one of my ambitions would be to apply knowledge and give out education to people. So, when I grow up, hopefully, I become a successful teacher. Because a teacher, wow, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah, and... Um, a secondary would, school? Um, yeah, know. secondary would be secondary. because it would influence them What more. kind of year? Um, no. 7 to 13, so like higher oh. years. And you know, with no knowledge comes vulnerability. So to be able to have that position, giving knowledge to others would be You're a great opportunity. You're literally like a guide, yeah. Yeah. Being a teacher is a wonderful job. Very, yeah, yeah it's, it's really, really rewarding as well. Yeah, it's a really good ambition to have, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's really hard to become one though, isn't it? You yeah. have to complete masters and all do all of them. Yeah. Yeah, so I you're guess. working hard, studying hard? Um, well, I'm trying to enjoy the subjects I study so I can yeah. take them further into teaching. But yeah, Allah has you know got me this far, yeah, and it's gone good. That's really yeah. good. Inshallah, you become one. Thank you. Mashallah, inshallah. inshallah. So, about you, what are your uh, um, aspirations? Your um, ambitions? well, when I'm older, I'd like to become a doctor and study medicine. A doctor, wow, yeah. mashallah, that's really good. Thank you. Oh my God, that's going to be really hard to get. Hard, isn't yeah, it? very sure, hard to get into medical medical stuff. Wow. So you, you two have such amazing uh, <laughs> ambitions. I don't even know what I'm going to become when I'm older, literally. I'm, yeah. I, I'm thinking of what, but it's really hard, isn't it? I but know. does it matter? Like, I don't think it should matter right now because um, how old are you, by the way? 14. 14. So you still have a lot of time, I guess, to, you know, um, see what you like. And, you know, you still have one year of GCSEs. And, you know, if you yeah. take steps, you will soon find out what you enjoy. Yeah. So you're the oldest one in there, so you're... Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> 17. Yeah, wow, 17. So you must have experienced life, everything, isn't it? <laughs> no, you know, you've got a lot, a lot yeah, more to learn. Yeah, we've got a lot to learn. Yeah. But I think, like, once you know what you're going to do, I think you'll succeed in it. So. Yeah. So currently, I'm just literally studying and stuff, but yeah. um, obviously... But I think the big, the main I thing for being grades. a woman, Isla like Islamic woman, is to like be a good person within yourself. Yeah. Isn't it? yeah, within to be a good person and have that. Obviously, we have ambitions and goals, but this is for our life, our life here, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. At the end of the day, we should always our number one priority again yeah. is our life. Um, after Try and death. get it to heaven. Jannah. That's yeah. literally our main thing. Mm. That's what we want in it. We're doing everything to get inside there. Yeah. Everyone wants to go to heaven, but yeah. it's not that easy, isn't it? But it's good that we have um, ambitions for now, because if you live a good life here, yeah. then obviously it'd be good that you have a much better life in the hereafter. But it's very hard, isn't it? Yeah. It's not easy no. just to become a teacher like that. No, to become a doctor like that, mm. even. Because you, you have, have to have like work 
hard. Yeah, like, do you know how many people want to become a doctor? <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, no, no. Yeah, like so many. Like, it's not like you can't become yeah, one, yeah, yeah. but yeah. Yeah. But wow. you have to study hard and have like faith. Faith in Allah and yeah. faith in you. So before your exams and stuff, do you like, so you do your GCs in it, do you like pray? Um, I currently do my A levels, I'm in my first year. Is it? But you know your GC exam, did you pray? GCSEs? Yeah. Yeah, I, I prayed, obviously. Obviously, you know, it's mandatory. But um, I guess Allah is most listening to you when you're in times of need. So yeah. obviously, I knew what um, certain grades I needed to, you know, achieve um, my grades. So A obviously, teacher. I'd pray more. So I'll do the sunnahs, I'll do extra prayers so that, you know, Allah would listen. Oh yeah, that's so that's really obviously good, yeah. in, when you're Cause, in times of need. Cause, cause yeah, you can do your exams. Obviously, you revise. Obviously, if you pray and then you don't revise, you can't expect to get yeah. a star. But exactly. you have to do but, both. Yeah, doing both. You can't just um, study and not pray because you need to have that um, um, certainty, that that belief that you are gonna and Allah's gonna help you get that, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So you just do both, maintain both, pray and then study as well. Have you got your exams coming up? Soon? Um. Well, I have my SATs exam for Maths, English oh, and Science. Oh, SATs is very important. Yeah. yeah. SATs is really, no, literally is really important because, but what year are you in? Year nine. Year nine? Are you not supposed to do them in year six? Pardon? Are you not supposed to do them in year six? Uh, well, my school is an academy, oh, so they get to different. decide what to do. Yeah, because I did like all right in my SATs, so that's why I got really good opportunities in secondary mm -hmm. school because people that don't do good in their SATs, in secondary school, they got they get they don't get to be part of anything yeah. anything clever basically. Uh, okay. Yeah. So I did I did alright. Yeah, I think SATs is important in indicating where you can um, go further in life. So um, because I didn't do that well in my SATs, oh. that uh, my target grades for GCSEs were like Bs. So obviously, the th um, the results you get when you do SATs, they'll result into your target grades. Yeah, but the GCSEs. target grades are just target yeah, grades. And they're they're not your, yeah, and they're not your. Sometimes want teachers actually put it lower to yeah. try to motivate mm -hmm. you. Yeah. So yeah, but then that that's I don't I don't like that. They should put it higher. I think that yeah. kind no, of no, but then that might get into the students' head and they might not perform as well. And yeah, then so might I be think big it's headed, good, isn't yeah, it? Like, I know everything. Yeah, that average. Average. Mm. yeah, literally studying is all my life now. Literally, because yeah, I got my exams in year eleven. I'm time. so stressed out. Literally, mm. like was you was you? Well, inshallah, you do well. Oh, thank you. <laughs> inshallah, you'll do well. Thank you. What was you stressed out? Yeah, I was stressed out last year and very much so this year as well because A levels are known to be oh. the bane of people. Oh, don't life. put me off. <laughs> I'm doing my but GCs now. As <laughs> you're putting no, me off. If you love the subjects, use pick. Uh, so it's yeah, good to pick. it's good that you can pick subjects because GCs are compulsory. Yeah. Maths you have to do. Yeah. Oh, that means you pick maths. No, I, I had to like do it because it's compulsory. You, you need at least In A levels. C. Oh no, no, not A levels. I'm just speaking from GCSE. I didn't like uh, maths. Uh, uh, didn't. GCSE. Thank God you don't have to do it then. That's no. really good. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I can't wait to just throw my. I literally on the last day of my exams, I'm just gonna burn all my books. No, <laughs> like I guess you should like um, you know give all your best in all your subjects instead of like if you do. Constraining on maths. Yeah, or? God forbid if you fail or, like one of them, you would have to redo them. Yeah, yeah, in maths so and English. No, apparently they're taking the redos away. They're literally changing all the education system. You yeah. know, your year, was it year nine? Yeah, year, ten, year, year nine. I don't think it's your school. Is it your school? Basically, they're changing everything and they're making GC so much harder. They're yeah. making it like oh, O I level. See. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're doing that to R, yeah. And they, the, pi the books they pick for like oh English and stuff. It's God. like classics. And That's so sad on me. Like, well, I wish we did, but. But uh, then, yeah, yeah, it's just basically harder. Mm -hmm. But then we have, basically, you're not going to get engaged, you're going to get points. Like yeah, 40s, mm -hmm. yeah, something yeah. like that. I was told that they were going to totally change the grade system. So instead of A's and B's, it's going to be like 1 and 8. Oh. Yeah, that, that's true. My sister yeah. has that um, points. So. Oh, that's sad. Just, just work hard, don't yeah. worry. Inshallah, yeah. you get through. Thank you. What about me, though? What, what's your, um, what was your exam board at Excel? For GCSEs? Yeah, maths. They were, um, yeah, for maths, it yeah. was at Excel. Do you know how many, like, they they put like 50 topics yeah. in one book. Yeah. And <laughs> these 50 topics have range 10 from, topics. Yeah, <laughs> they range from year seven knowledge to... Exactly. Yeah. It's too much. They give too much. There's a limit, okay? It, it's too much like patho... Uh, um, Pythagoras. Yeah, that. And then, and then all these other things, vector. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> they, they, there's too much, okay? You know like sociology and geography, this yeah. is a little subject, this is a little bit of information, you just have to memorise memorize it, that's it done. But maths is just, but English as well. 
English as well, wouldn't it? English is... No, English is fine. Just memorise your quotes, quotes and just have oh, good vocabulary. Oh, don't memorise your quotes. You can see your quotes in the exam. Uh, no, but I'm talking about the new syllabus because it's oh. going to be closed and... <gasps> yeah, for the new... You, you, know. have, to mem you have to memorise your quotes. Oh my and god. That's <laughs> level as well, but that's fine. But I'm talking I don't about have like to do that. <laughs> Thank god. Yeah. We can just look in the book. Yeah. Yeah, but then it's not about memorizing because you have to. You have to. Uh, know your structure. Use big words. Yeah. Not. not yeah. yeah. Use big words. No, if you okay. use like. If you can get your words across, like, um, in a way that is understandable to the examiner, then it should be fine. You don't have to use big what words. What did you get for GC? Um, I got an A star for English literature. Oh my god, mashallah! A star, yeah, easy. Alright then, A star. <laughs> it's, um, Oh my god, wow, that's so good. How would you get A star? I want A star. Um, <laughs> How'd I you get it? Tell me. <laughs> you just have to, you know, know what the examiner wants. So do you, how do you revise for English? I always wonder that. How do you revise? Yeah. Just generally. Just there's no book that says, oh, okay. memorise this and then I'll just... So, not like so do you know what box you're studying for GCSE? Did you do AQA? Yeah. So what books are you studying? Like... Um, mice did, and men. Okay, so imagine you hate that book or whatever. Yeah, you just it. you just pretend to love it so much, and then just pick out certain bits that you think you can pretend talk about. Pretend to love it. So pretend pretend to love it and then if you pretend to love it, which you shouldn't do, but yes. pretend you say because a lot of my friends they didn't like English, and just pick out the bits that you think you could talk about and rant about, and then you know if you can I make. Keep talking, but then the problem is if you waffle, isn't it? If you yeah. waffle and you talk excessive. That's why you yeah. structure it one paragraph maybe about language one paragraph about the feelings and then that's your marks right there not just waffle it. yeah my friends um are doing an early my course after she think she um um from college isn't it she's no she's not going to go to college she's going to do apprenticeship and stuff oh, that's so i think it's, yeah I, th I think um but then apparently islamic schools are more um stricter with like subjects like english and maths and stuff they put yeah. more stuff in I it. I think in GCSE, if you go to an Islamic school, it's compulsory because obviously you need these. Yeah, obviously, yeah. But, but then they're, they're really, yeah, they're, they're really strict, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but in college. Plus, you have to do Arabic and all these Islamic mm. studies within that. It's, just, it's a lot of pressure. But then at the end of the day, you're doing Islamic studies. That's it's yeah. that. You're getting so up for it, obviously, isn't it? You're getting so up for it. So that's ambition and challenge. Yeah, so we talked about the challenges, isn't it? The challenges, like, the previous episode, we were talking about getting tempted yeah. to um, doing, like, like eating yeah, fatty foods. foods. And also, I think, clothes. like, it's kind of hard for people to pursue, pursue their dreams when there's, like, money temptations. issues. Or, the, or yeah, or temptations, like, money issues, debt. Yeah. Or like, if they don't have enough support from their family. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Or like, enough information. Yeah. And... Um, that say if you want to start a business and like you don't have the right money and yeah. stuff. That's why it's good. That's where so it leads to so many complications. Yeah, yeah, education. Yeah, schools yeah. really do help, but sometimes they don't teach properly. Yeah, yeah. Nice That's school. why you go out of the way it's and just be like, really. I have my own ambition and just yeah. do. Because even because I'm not I'm not gonna lie, but some one of my teachers, she literally all she does double lesson science. You see exam in May. Yeah, all she does. She comes in the room, she goes on her iPhone and she goes, read your textbook and answer questions. Yeah, that was exactly yeah. why. Oh yeah. my God. Like, what is this? You're supposed to teach, like, I, I really like when people, uh, like, teachers proper teach and they, they say, oh, do you understand that? Do you, I really, yeah. I, I just get And they're actually yeah, enthusiastic they actually and they want you to care about education. I, I love that about teachers, but some teachers don't, they, they don't just, they say, read the textbook, do, do it yourself. Okay, I understand being independent is one thing, yeah, but yeah. what's the point? I can do this at home. Do you get mm. what I'm saying? I can do it at home. Why don't I just um, just, uh, just not come to school then? What's the point of you being a teacher and getting yeah. paid? Why don't you teach us? Yeah. So you can't really depend on the teacher that much. Yeah, so you can't. You have to no, do no, it It depends work. on if your teacher's good, isn't it? It depends yeah. uh, on the teacher. But in my opinion, I don't think my teacher's all that. So it's all dependent on me now, isn't it? My parents obviously can help me. Yeah. But it's literally up to up me. Because no matter what my parents say about, oh, work hard, study, it's... Yeah. They can only say stuff like that. They can only push so you, but yeah. then at the end of the day, it's what you do and stuff. Well, obviously, like when it comes to revising, like, do you get distracted? Do you? Uh, yeah, there's so many distractions. Like yeah, when like you phone. want to be with your family, your brother, and to phone, your phone, going it? out, yeah. everything. It just gets. I don't. In the way. I don't really go. I literally do not go out at all. I literally stay <laughs> in my house. Oh, yeah, whole, what have you been doing these holidays? Revising. Well, we went Birmingham and Leicester, but oh, that yeah. was. 
it and I was I, I had yeah, that in mind that I had to yeah. revise I had to revise but all I did was uh, revise or just yeah. sit down and do nothing because sometimes when I revise I don't like, I'm sitting down and I have the book in my hands but I just think that's yeah. what happens. I hate. I hate. No, my yeah. head. You think, why are you doing this? But then you get this realization that I have to. Yeah, do Yeah, but then, then I just think about other things. You get what I'm saying? That's yeah. what distracts me. Thoughts distract me, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You when you're studying, you just think about something else. Oh, this is kind of boring. This is, oh, yeah. you think about something. That's that's main. That's I hate when that happens. That's why I, I kind of um, like like not to be like too much of a quiet room otherwise you'll just oh, and i take loads of breaks i like take yeah. a bit more i take loads of breaks like yeah like, taking breaks is good but not too much yeah anymore. but i do it too much i have to you just take like do what if you're going to do like geography or something or the same maths for example do one hour maths and then after a half an hour just take one five minute break isn't it or is that yeah. a bit too much no it's fine no that's good isn't it yeah yeah so you have to proper Revising short bursts and then take short breaks. I think what's good about my school is that if you need any help, the teachers are willing to like give you their really? own time. I find it really awkward to ask. Yeah. I find it really awkward. Yeah, like, that was me. But I don't, I, I don't want to like, I don't, because I don't want them to like, be like, <sighs> like stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. That's but what they do. My teachers school. like come to the students, they're like, oh, is it okay if you can, like, if it's possible for you to stay behind? And I'm like, yeah. Oh, stay behind. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> my heart beats when teachers say that. Stay behind, so I <laughs> Oh my god, I get so because that that means you're on top of basically in my school. So, um, so that's it really. Challenge and ambition in it. Yeah. Yeah. So you're gonna be a teacher. Then what? <laughs> you know what goes on from there. Every single day you're gonna do the same thing over and over again. Not really, because every single day you might have a new student one day or someone that needs extra help and it just, you know, makes... Like naughty kids, isn't it? Yeah. Those are naughty kids. But it's yeah, nice to see that you make a difference in someone's yeah. lives. Oh, yeah. You're helping true. them get through a stage that, you Cause know... Because obviously, um, them, them, like, I, I want, I always dreamt of, like, an inspirational teacher. Mm. You know, them proper... Yeah. yeah. You know, little kids and, like, yeah. oh. when they're little, they used to, like, they always, yeah, like, pretend like, oh, to be teachers. What's this? What's th yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. and then... Yeah, they're really cute. Yeah, I watch movies like that. I know. <laughs> yeah, it's really good, isn't it? So, what about you? What are you going to do, a doctor? Um, I haven't like really figured it out, but maybe somewhere in science. Yeah, somewhere in science. Yeah, yeah. I might because I I'd like to study um, like psychology. Yeah, I want to like do psychology. Yeah, be a therapist and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's really interesting. Like isn't try it? and make people happy. In. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, try to fix their lives yeah. and then make them happy. Yeah. <laughs> first, fix their lives first. Yeah. Because <laughs> the because the, cause the all be, they got like mental problems and stuff. But when they come to therapist, they yeah, they get fixed. And you get reward from Allah. So. Yeah, you get reward from Allah and you get money, isn't it? Yeah. Being a therapist pays a lot. But the other, but the, but all these high qualified jobs need a lot of effort from now because what you do now depends. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, your future, isn't it? So do you go out and stuff? Um, I mostly go out with my family or my family members, like have a get together oh. at my house or their house. Oh, that's it. So you just stay at home and revise. Um, yeah, most of the time. Yeah, that's that's really good. I think I think at this age you should just make your 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 main focus should be just praying and yeah. study. That's it. You can go out and stuff, but yeah, there's a limit, isn't it? There's a borderline. So what about you? Do you go out? Yeah, um, well, now that I've got my A-levels, my teacher literally just told me how I have to cancel out every single evening from now on that I do. What? That's how, like, A-level so, is. So, so every evening you... I can't afford to miss um, revision. So, you know, I don't want to be repeating the year. So obviously, inshallah, that won't happen. So from now on, I just cancel out. Apart from me being here today, but that's an exception. So that's my life until June the 9th. Wow. What if there's something <laughs> important? Like, something important, like a, I don't know. Like a Islamic. I don't know, something important, like an yeah. important event you have to go. Can you miss it? It won't happen during the exam season, I hope. Oh my God, I can never do that at all. Yeah. But that yeah. is extreme. That's. But if you think about it, you just finished Easter and you're not going to be wanting to go out right now already during exam season, so. So when's sense. the exam season finish again? Okay, my one start on May the twelfth. 
Oh, my, my, my exam is um, 20 May and then 5 June is another exam. Yeah. And that's it done. I only got two exams. Yeah. And so then, easy you know, Ramadan's coming up. So. The end of April and in yeah. June. Yeah. Uh, and then the rest I just got mocks and stuff. Are mocks important? Yeah, I think it's, they're a good indicator of where you are for the teachers. But mm. I don't think it should be something that no, should let you down or it, get it? you. Yeah, because yeah, it's important to dwell in them. I have a cousin and he did really well in his mocks, but he like kind of failed in his actual GCSE yeah. thing. Oh my God. Yeah, but luckily he got into like a really good sixth form. That's yeah. because he done well with his mocks and oh, the teacher knows good. that he's a good student. So why did you do bad in GC? I think it's probably because of the pressure. Mm. Yeah, oh, peer, um, pressure yeah. Uh, from parents and teachers. Yeah. That's a big issue, isn't it? Exactly. Um, and happening to teenagers these days. Yeah, and if you have like friends that are like smarter than you, then it would oh. make you feel <laughs> Oh, I hate that. Yeah. And like also... When people I'm get better, better uh, grades than you, yeah? Yeah, I'm not trying to be like stereotypical, but like sometimes a lot of Asian parents, they like to compare other students. Yeah, yeah and What grades they get yeah. and stuff. And yeah. if you're not at the top, and then... You, have, like, you have to be get, you have yeah. to get not nine, but ten. Yeah. yeah a you have to get that ten, A star, ten out of ten, mm -hmm. isn't it? That's, that's very important for Asian parents. And, um, cause I, cause you, you know, everyone in your class, literally, you're all in competition. Yeah. Mm. Who gets the highest grades, who is the top um, person in the student in the class. Because even my friend was telling me, we're all in competition, literally, we're yeah. all in competition. So, whether we listen, whether we uh, choose to um, work hard is up to us, obviously. Yeah. It's literally so important, because if you don't do well, that's it for your future, isn't it? Yeah. It's scary to think that one exam will just... Oh, my God. <laughs> Stop <you>. reminding me. <laughs> Stop reminding me. Oh, my God. I, just, I, just, I, I know, I think it as well. I, yeah. I always imagine... Um, I always imagine like um, being in that GCC hall. Like, I can't yeah. imagine it. I think I'm gonna faint or something. I, I, I but think that's why mocks are there, so they they like make you. Do you know my mocks exam was literally like just any um, any day. Literally, we're in our classroom. It was, it was terrible. You do mocks in your classroom. Yeah, but I, I think do mocks that's in my better classroom. because um, people say that if you do a test, people where you normally study on the mock. People cheated. You just got that book out. The teacher doesn't care. Where did you do your mocks? We do them in the hall, like in a proper think, GC exam yeah, thing. Yeah, where oh. we actually did it. So. Yeah, our school does the same. And we had like individual really and good. stuff oh my watching. God. I'm in love with the schools. <laughs> oh, the teachers good. Um, your teachers not that good. That's what you said, didn't it? And teachers. No, I've never. Said you that. were agreeing with me when I oh, said. Well, in my secondary school, I've had some like horrible teachers, which is why I decided oh, just like to move one to a new two. school. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. But my new system is great. That's really, really good. good. Yeah. Having good teachers. That's excellent. Oh, unfortunately, that is it for today. I've got only a short time left. Um, have you got anything to summarise? Any last words? Um, treat your education wisely, guys, and um, your future in yeah. your hands. Yeah, <laughs> your hands. Yeah. That's, That's the end of a commercial yeah. or something, yeah. isn't it? You're leading your own way. Literally, it's in else. your hands. Like what you do right now is what happens to you, um, to you in ten years' time, isn't it? No yeah. pressure. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> All right then. Thank you so much for watching Out of Focus. And thank you, um, thank you. Sabiha. Yeah. Sabiha, what a beautiful name. And thank you, Masha. Thank you. Beautiful name as well. MashaAllah. Thank you so much for coming. I really enjoyed today. Did you enjoy it, guys? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.